Hello and welcome to Treasure Chest Tuesday. This is Susan Taylor Shire and you are with Soul Mastery, finding ways every week to enhance your soul, your heart, your life, and find ways for you to practically and simply elevate the nature of what you have to bring to this world. And I greet you after an incredible retreat in beautiful La Finca Paradiso, Spain. Oh my gosh, we had such an amazing time in this beautiful, beautiful setting. And there's so much I could tell you about that. And soon I will be sending you lots of pictures so you can feel like you've had a virtual vacation. That's what I do every year after we go to Costa Rica as well, so that everyone can have a virtual vacation. And for those who are able to come to the retreat, wow. <laughs> there is nothing like having a week in paradise to be fully taken care of and transform through joy. One of the fun things we talked about is the matter of life being a gift. Now you could say in a setting like that, of course life is a gift. It's just you're brimming with uh, satisfaction, a sense of bliss, a sense of wow, it couldn't be better. There you are with a soul family of people who love what you love. And easy to find the gift there, isn't it? And there are always some challenges that come with no matter what gift we have. So let's look at this matter. Is life a gift or a burden? How many times, hmm, I'll confess, <laughs> have we found that we are in overwhelm, exhausted, not motivated at all, and we're feeling that life is an amazing burden. Yeah, that's what takes us down, the feeling that life is a burden. Now, we're talking about the situation of life that we're in. We're not talking about life because life itself is never a burden, right? So we've got that one uh, twisted to start with. Life is never a burden. How we feel about a situation can feel like a burden. Why is that? Because it's not going the way we want it to. Do you feel like your children are a burden? Your family is a burden. Your spouse is a burden. Having to drive an hour to work is a burden. Your job is a burden. Not having enough money is a burden. Your health challenges are a burden. Well, if you're feeling that about any of those areas, they will produce the feeling of burden around them and therefore become a burden. It's how it works in this cosmos. So, do the flowers next to me feel like a burden? No. When they are dying, do they feel like a burden? No. <laughs> there is never a situation where anything in nature feels like a burden. There you have it, there's the answer right there. So, what is the antidote to that feeling when you get into it that life is a burden? Oh, I just can't do this anymore. I feel helpless to be able to change it. That's when you say, oh yeah, life is a gift. The way I am acting in this situation is a burden to my heart, my soul, and my livelihood. So I'm gonna change that and I'm going to see life as a gift in the very situation that it is, that you're in. So it's not about going, oh, this is a um, lesson to learn that's still very mental because being something being a burden is very mental and emotional. But when you say something is a gift, you move into your heart, you have a whole new perspective on the situation, the person, whatever it is when you move into your heart and look at it as a gift. Or try your darndest to find the gift in it, you see? So this is what we want to focus on. And one of the best ways to practice that is not only seeing the situation for the gift that it is, but seeing yourself as a gift. That is paramount. So yes, you could say that in order to change something, you have to see that it's not working for you. I get that, absolutely. That is a catalyst for change. But if you see the gift in the situation and you see that you have filled your cup full, 
whether it relates to a relationship, a job, a, a situation of not having enough money, whatever it is, if you have the feeling, I have filled my cup with this, the gift that it is, is filled to overflowing, the feeling that I am complete with this is done and present, then you can move on from creation to creation, not burden to burden. Because if you feel something is a burden, you're going to keep attracting burdens. See how that works? So your mantra, so to speak, your claim to fame this week is to see yourself as a gift. I am a gift to this situation. My life is a gift. And in your journal every day, feel that sense of life as a gift and write it down. Write how you are a gift and your situation is a gift. Your day is a gift. Not just to others, but to yourself. And you will feel your heart filled all over again. Every day your tank gets full and you see the gift that is present and you live from the place of being a gift and it will transform your life instantly. Know that I am with you and the whole universe of guidance from love is with you in seeing and experiencing the gift of life that you are. You will be in complete attunement and harmony with all nature, all animals, and all creation. Now that's a force field supporting you. I am so with you in this. And while I say that, I want you to know that I have in the next couple of weeks coming a new immersion. Yay, it's immersion time for November so that you can really feel your life as a gift and be in that connection of divine power that will allow you to feel that all power is with you and will create a life of a gift that is there for all to see. So stay tuned, read more on my email, and I will be with you again next week. Many blessings to you. Subscribe to the YouTube channel so you get these YouTube videos or my email so that you can have these regularly and pass them on to a friend. And then give yourself the gift of a retreat in Costa Rica. If you've been wanting to do this, then this is the year for you because it is going to be exponentially powerful. You are a gift. You deserve to give yourself the gift of life. Blessings to the life that you create every moment.